treasures. First and foremost, I'd like you to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment if you like. Okay, today we're going to be making skull, a skull. You know, like the bone, the skull bone. I don't know why I did that. I, I just felt the need to make one. So let's make one. First and foremost, you're going to need brushes. Acrylic paint and masking tape, 1.88 or any tape that you have, and paper plate. Okay, let's get started. Now, first we need to kind of make the eye holes. So we're going to take some tape, sticky side out, roll it. And do it just like that. Do it just like that. It depends on how big you want it, but about like this, about a circle. Okay. Take another piece, roll it. like this, stick it together, see that, eye holes, okay, <clears throat> then you'll take a, a ball of tape and just ball it up, like this, like this, make it kind of flat. Make the dome of the head first, the top of the head. See, see how it's curved over like that? Okay. Let's get more. Just stick it, stick it like this. See? Like like we were making the turtle shell. Make it like a round. Okay. We'll take more. Ball it up. Stick it right here. See that? Take more. We're just going to keep sticking tape all the way around till we form the skull candle. Kind of. See, like this. Now, I'm going to take more. Put it back there. Now, look at the front. You see the, the front part? This is where the eye holes are going to go. We're going to stick them right inside of there like this. See? Stick the other one inside here. Make sure you got it right. See that? Like that. Now, right here, we're gonna put the nose hole. So this this build the bridge of the nose, this part of your nose right here. If you feel your nose until where the meat is, this is the meat part of your nose. But right here, there's a bone that comes all the way down to here. Okay, so we're gonna form that bone. I don't, I, I forget what it's called, but just going to form that bone, you know, like something like this, just going to form that bone. And then at the bottom, at the bottom of the bone, 
we need to create uh, like a something like a semi triangle. Okay, you see that? Like that? Now, right here, we're going to make a little triangle. Okay? Just a little bit triangle. So just, you just need a little tape. Take it and roll. Like this. Now, you just want to stick it here and then create a little triangle like or a circle or whatever. But it's going to be like a diamond. Sort of like a diamond. See ya? Now let's form the rest. We're going to go all the way to the to where the teeth are. Okay? We're going to go all the way down to where the teeth are. And then we're going to form the bottom jaw. Because that, that's separate from the rest of it. Going like this. See where I'm going? See? Like this. Okay. Another. Fall another piece. And stick that right here. Stick your thumbs inside that hole. And form. Just shape the head. The skull. All right, so we got it now. Wait a minute, let's get this nose together. Together. See? Now, right here is where the teeth are gonna go. So we're going to form some teeth, but first we got to take our fingers and shape it. Shape it like your upper jaw. Put a couple of teeth in there. Of course, a couple of teeth need to be missing, so you're just gonna put a couple of teeth in there. Just a couple of teeth. Maybe every other one. Just make don't it, it don't make a difference. Just make some teeth. Just ball some tape up. And make it like teeth. You don't have to be perfect with it because skulls ain't perfect. You know, some of them got don't have no teeth at all. So see. Put some more in there. Now space them out some. You know, put put some, you know, on the other side. No need to put all of them in there, but you just want to create an illusion like you're showing his teeth. See? See? Oh, that's that's too far over. Let's take that one out. Ah! Come out of there. Like right here. Maybe. See? It's his teeth. Okay, now... We need to start with the bottom jaw, okay? The bottom jaw is kind of easy. Tear a sizable amount of tape. Take it sticky side out. And you want, you want to just mold it like this. Make sure you have a hinge on it, that hinge that's up here. Okay. It's a hinge. Okay, we're gonna do another one. Sticky side out. Now we got we got to do another one right here. Okay? Let's do another. One.
Make sure you tear a sizable amount. Well, y'all know what today is. Saturday. Y'all know what I got to do tomorrow. So, I'm just going to have to rush through this. I have to get some rest. That's why I didn't do anything yesterday because I was tired. So I took a day off. Why not? See that? Now, let's try to put it in here. See, there we go here. Then just, just adjust it so it'll fit. Then squeeze it in. Squeeze the jaw in. Then you can kind of close it. Like. Okay. See that? Just look at it. Just survey it and see if it looks okay. All right. There you go. Now, I'm going to tear a sizable piece. It goes on the top of the cranium. Because the, uh, the skull is kind of high up. So. We just want to form it now. See, once we get the eye holes and everything in, we want to give the skull a lifelike appearance, a little more density on the top. So we're going to Don't worry about it. We got to put skin on it. Do bones have skin on it? I don't know. We got to put... All right. That's good enough. Okay. Now, maybe you can put some teeth down there. If you want to put teeth down here, go ahead. Okay. So, we got the, the skull now. This is like a, a, a fossil type of skull. All right. Remember, you're going to put skin on it, so it's going to cover this up and all of these lines right here. So it'll be a complete skull. Okay. And, uh, oh, story time. This story time is called daredevil daredevil you know when i was younger you know when i told y'all i i got one called stump boy stump boy june that was when you know when i when i like doing stunts and stuff like that i really wanted to be a stunt man i wanted to be a daredevil you know but what got me started was Evil Knievel. Now, y'all probably don't know who Evil Knievel is. Evil Knievel was a, a, a guy who jumped a lot of stuff with his motorcycle. With his motorcycle. He jumped 14 buses, uh, 25 buses, uh, and he jumped Snake, Snake River Canyon. Okay? Snake River. But he didn't make it, but he didn't make the jump over Snake River Canyon because it, it something happened with the parachute came out and it malfunctioned or something. But he didn't make that. But Evil Knievel has broke over 50 bones in his body jumping uh, buses and stuff. He jumped. He did. He made a name for himself. He really did. They had toys that was named after him. They had an Evil Knievel motorcycle that you 
and then you let it go and it takes off. Yeah, it was he was bad, man, back in the day. Well, I wanted to be like him. Wanted to be just like him. And it was a it was some other cats that did stuff too, but Evil Knievel was the one that come to mind. When I was real little, when I was a little kid, you know, I used to watch that. You know, a little kid, you know. So I told y'all about the time when I I uh took a swing bicycle and I was ready to jump a ramp. I wanted to jump ramps. So I, I would make little ramps out in the street and stuff and jump, you know, ride and jump over them and stuff like that. And I got good. But then my last one where we took a door, we went in an abandoned building and got some doors, two doors, one door here and one here. They were like, like this. And they was on garbage can. You know how, uh, those steel garbage can, those drums, like we had some of those stacked up and had the doors on. So that was the highest that I ever jumped. I ever did anything like that. So we had them like spread apart and then, you know, like this. And then you jump and then land, supposed to land on the other side, you know. So I got at the end of the alleyway. We did it in the alley. So. No cars won't interfere. You know, cars won't be coming down the street. So I backed up all the way at the end of the alley. Now, alleyways in Chicago are like a block long, a block long. So you know how far I had to go. So I got to the end of the alley and then I... And I was going as fast as I can. And I jumped. And when I land on the other side, I land like on a wheelie. The tire bust, and I went flipping. And I, needless to say, I messed myself up pretty bad. Scott, I had road road rash. I think that's what it's called, road rash, where the the top layer of my skin came off on my elbows, on my knees, and everything. Uh, I bumped my head. I was messed up. I was messed up. But I got an applause from everybody. Yay, yay, yay. Yeah. And, uh, but that didn't stop me, though. After I healed up from that, I did another stunt, like jumping off the third floor, off third story. Three stories, building. I jumped off onto some mattresses. And I made it on the mattress. When I got up there, I was kind of a little apprehensive about jumping. Because nobody else would do it. So I said, you go, you go, you go. We kept, we kept going back and forth. And I just said, forget it, I'll go. And then I jumped. I jumped. I did a flip like this. And... Landed on the mattresses down below. When I landed on the mattress, it catapulted me back up into the air. And then I fell on my face in the gravel and glass, broken bottles and everything was all in my face and stuff like that. So after I healed from that, it was all off to the races again. Where I climbed the side of a building. But needless to say, I got caught by the police. They didn't take me to jail, but they turned me over to my parents. And that was just like jail, because I was getting slapped all upside the head. Boy, did I tell you, did I tell you, did I, da, da, da. you know, get smacked upside the head and stuff like that. One time I, I climbed up a tree, a tall tree, and I hung by my legs on a branch upside down and this, you know, and people were, oh my God, you gonna fall. Yeah, they said that and then I, I did fall. The branch broke. So I fell on top of a gate, clean back on my back and then it flipped over and, and landed on my feet. 
And I said, hey. And, and everybody was, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was bleeding up under here and my back from the, uh, you know, the those little things that's on the uh, chain lift fence. I fell on top of that. <laughs> it was crazy. I, that, that's that's the, the stuff that I was into. I really wanted to be a daredevil like Evil Knievel. And I was going to fulfill my dream. I've, I've done many, many stunts. Many stunts. It's so many I can't name, you know, but I did them just to get a reaction out of everybody, you know. So, I was, I think I was crazy then, back then, or something like that. <laughs> okay, let's get finished with our, uh, let's go. Now, take your piece of tape and then just put it on there. And you're going to smooth it down. Smooth it down. Yeah. Okay. See, like that. Like that. Just smooth it down. Get another piece of tape. Yeah, you y'all know I'm going kind of fast with this because... Oh, I got to get up in the morning. I just got off work just now but I tried to hurry up so I can do this film for y'all <laughs> yeah I just got to had to do it for y'all here we go see that so just we on smooth tape just smooth tape all over here the uh, skull we're going to put some down the nose. Hold up. All right, there. There we go. See? I went down the nose with it. And make sure that nose is showing. So push it up. Push that nose up. Then put a piece of tape on the sides of it. Let's see. Wait, make sure that hole ain't blocked. Take your brush and just poke in there. Poke, poke, poke. Pokey, pokey, pokey. Do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. And that's what it's all about. Pokey, pokey. Okay. There's no see that? Alright. Now we gotta put some a, a strip across here. The top of the lip or the jaw. Okay, put one across the top of the jaw and fold it over. See? Like that. Then press it down. Make sure you press it down because we, you, we don't want it sticking out like that. So when you start painting, it'll paint evenly. See? Now we're going to get the other side. I like having my jaws open. But you can have it closed, though. You can do it. You can close it if you want. I like having my jaws kind of open a little bit. So. Now. We're going to get some tape on the back. And then we're going to start painting. But make sure you get tape all over all over the 
the back of a school. Get some on that. You know, this this is uh, a cool little thing to do, you know, to do a skull. I've made a lot of skull. I made some for Halloween. You know. See, I stuck my fingers in the eye. So there you go. Now, let's what color shall we paint it? You can paint it, uh, see, we, we want to get that, uh, that old look to it, like an old rustic look. So we're going to, oh my God, did I forget some, we're going to put some, maybe this color. Here's our plate. Put a little bit this in there and a little bit white. We're gonna mix both of the two. I think this will this is this will suffice for uh old look, you know. We're gonna mix mix them two. Then just make it it's gonna make it look like a rustic look. Put more white in there. nothing okay I'm gonna put a little white in there we're gonna make it have a rustic look to it it's all good Yes, yes, yes. Got to go in. I may do one tomorrow, then I may not. So, we're going to do this. Well, I'm definitely going to do one tomorrow evening. But I don't know if I'm going to do one from the job or not, but. I may do one. We just want to just put a little paint. You see here? Look. Put some on the teeth. Now, this is where the brown come in. You want to just, I don't know if y'all can see that brown, brownish tinge to it, but wait a minute, y'all can't see it, but I can see it. It's look, it looks, uh, you know, a little older, so I'm going to just enhance it a little bit. See that? Just, just splotch it all over. And that's a brown color. Let me see what color this is. A rustic uh, red oxide. Red oxide. So, if you don't have red oxide, you can use red or brown to do this. And just splotch it on. Splotch it on all the way around. Just to give it that old rustic look. See? Just like that. Alright. See? Ah, uh, get the 
jaw open. There you go. Hi. I'm a skull. I will bite you. Urgh. Yeah, that's a skull. That That's how you do it. You see that? Like I said, you can make it for uh, Halloween and stuff like that. These go good in Halloween. All right. Well, that's it for this Mask of Tape Treasures. Make sure you like, subscribe, and leave me a comment if you like. And hit that bell notification. And share, share, share. So that my video gets out to others, okay? All right. Like I said, I may, I may, re, may do another one. I may do a story time tomorrow at work, okay? All right. Peace. And, oh, yeah. My shirt. I forgot. My shirt says Mahal Kita in, uh, in the Philippine in Tagalog language. Mahal Kita means I love you. Okay? Salamit!